Good morning, folks. We've got news from the interior of the solar system, weather, earthquakes, and space science news, so let's start at the sun and work our way out. At spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours on our star without any eruptive behavior. Southern sunspot is in decay. Largest coronal holes confined to the polar zones. Even the solar wind is more calm this morning. It was already calm yesterday, but today, plasma speed drops out even further. Let's go to an asteroid. But not just any asteroid, there are only 20 known Atira asteroids whose orbits never make it out to Earth distance. The inner system is mostly cleared from collisions, solar wind, etc., but not this one. During its positions crossing Mercury's orbit as we look from above, it has no chance to hit due to being well above and below the plane of the planets at those times. This is indeed the shortest year asteroid on record, fastest solar orbiter amongst them. Up next, earthquakes, solid blot echo in Japan with low pressure cells surrounding it. Philippines shook nearer to the surface. The Ridgecrest area crept back into the mix after what appeared to be a northern propagation. And Algeria, rare five-pointer there south of the Mediterranean. Let's go to weather and begin in India, where the regions that have broken their drought are dealing with the major storm aspects of that condition. Sydney windstorm canceled flights and is bringing a cold snap with it. Meanwhile, Today is the day it really begins on the U.S. Gulf Coast. While peripheral arms and their rainfall have already had the local regions experiencing major flooding, here comes the monster. Barry is set to pour on the region through the weekend and up the Mississippi Valley. Eyes open. Let's come up to the satellite level for the fire carbon run. This is only the carbon releases from fire activity around the world. Link to the video is below, and as a reminder, it always surprises them to find out how much of the carbon contribution is natural compared to humans. One step higher, and we're learning about the magnetosphere. Well, sort of. In one of those studies where you learn something that unlearns previous knowledge or changes how you have to look at the entire system, they found scatter angles of magnetic waves coming through the magnetosphere can be less than 90 degrees, meaning there is no nice and simple calculation and no broad generalizations about the system that can make calculations easier. Basically, they made their jobs harder, but closer to factual reality. Up next, a simulation done by Stanford on the dark matter halo of the Milky Way. Not much reality in this one. Of course, these halos are where they keep finding more and more luminous matter. They co-rotate with the galaxies and are fed in spiral filaments from the cosmic web. All major discoveries from the last year all came after the grant funding that led to this work by Stanford and all debunk the concept that galactic velocities are unmanageable. Funny how no matter what, they always make what looks like a network of neural activity. Normal matter or dark? Well, how about the voids? Tough to mischaracterize relatively empty space, right? They say it is the study of these voids that will offer better insight into various cosmological issues, especially because there is not the brightness and emission interpretations of luminous sources. There is less of the dust obscuring their view. This actually makes quite a bit of sense. Golf clap. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. The weather and the earthquakes are on my watch list today, and the U.S. West Coast is a topic in our weekly podcast coming up in a few hours. Website members, your Fly on the Wall podcast will post there around lunchtime in the east. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.